All right, guys, welcome back. In this lesson, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover how to set up a main menu for your Facebook chatbot. Now, what this looks like is you're gonna see a main menu show up down here when people are viewing your bot and interacting with your bot on mobile, okay? So that's what it looks like right here. This, this menu is not gonna be available on desktop, all right? So that's important to note, but this is what the experience is going to look like um, when people are interacting with your chatbot on their mobile device. All right, so the first step to getting this set up is from your ManyChat dashboard, what you wanna do is you wanna scroll down here to automation. So click on automation, and then beneath that, you're gonna open up a new, there's gonna be a sub menu that opens up, and you wanna click on main menu here. So what the main menu is, you can hover over the question mark, and you can see right here that it's, um, as it says, it's a main menu that's persistent to the menu and is always available to the user. So the really cool thing is that whatever you put down here, these are always gonna show up for people who are interacting with your bot, no matter what. So you could be sending out a broadcast about a new video you post, or a new blog post, or uh, maybe a new a new offer that you're putting out, something like that. You can send out messages there, but the one the buttons that you put down here in the main menu will always show up, no matter what your messaging your subscriber list about. So this is very, very cool and very powerful, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna put your three most important links or your most important actions down here in the main menu. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that this, is, this feature is actually enabled because by default it's disabled. So what you would need to do is if you don't see anything here when you click main menu, all you need to do is make sure that you move this over to enabled. And then you're gonna see um, the option to edit the menu right here. So what we wanna do is we wanna edit the menu and we'll see right here, what we can actually do, it says right here that top level menu is limited to three items max. So let's go ahead and create a new menu item. So the first thing we wanna do is just click on it and then it'll uh, make it white and, and instead of gray and so we can actually go ahead and edit it here. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna edit the text. So we can add it, we can add some emojis in if we want to. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this to subscribe on YouTube. So for me, I'm gonna probably put like something like a video camera or something like that. And then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna select the action that we actually want to happen when people press this button. So we can either open a sub menu and then you can see right there we have the option to create, you know more menu items, they behave just the same as this. So we can either create another menu and we can actually go down two levels deep. This is the last time we can't open another sub menu beyond that. Um, and then for each action here, we can either reply with a message or we can open a website. So if you want to, if you want to actually create a new message that you're going to reply to the user with, then you would just click create new message. And then it's going to give you the option to enter the text here. If that's not what you want to do, uh, let me get out of this. So if you don't actually want to do that, and it, by the way, if you want to delete a step or a sub menu or you accidentally create something that you don't want, you can just click the delete button right here. So for me, for my case, I don't want to create a sub menu. I also don't want to, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna delete all of this. So what I want to do here is I want to send people to a specific website, right? Because I want to get them to subscribe to my YouTube. So I'm going to click open website and all I do right here is just paste in my URL and then I click done. So super simple there. All we do is we would click update main menu right here and then we can actually move these around too if we want. So if we want to change the order of what, of what people see and the order in which they see it, then we can just drag them around by, click, by clicking on these six dots. All right, so that's it. That's how you set up a main menu here. And as far as strategy, um, if you are very active on YouTube, I would recommend adding your YouTube. If you have um, like an opt-in to get people to opt into your email list, um, then I would absolutely add that in as well. Or if you've got a blog or something like that. Really what you wanna do is you want to have your three most important, three most important actions or um, places where you can send traffic, you want those included on your main menu. So it might also be one of the one of the chatbot flows to sell your product or to sell your opportunity, okay? So if that's the case, then you can add that in to here. But what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you've always got your three most important um, links or action items in your main menu. All right, thanks guys.